This is part two of the tour through the Naturhistorisches Museum in Vienna, Austria. The incredible and historic Natural History Museum, located inside an Italianate palace on the Ringstrasse, has some really interesting artifacts that I showed in the first video, but now we are going to cover the second level of the museum, which is all about animals, encompassing a colossal taxidermy display. We start off in the ancient seas. Here is a coral reef replica built of coral skeletons. These were collected from real coral reefs around the world. That is definitely illegal nowadays. This museum was built in a different era. Here are Japanese spider crabs. I don't think I've ever seen these taxidermied before. These two come from the Bay of Tokyo and were preserved in 1836. This is a beautiful giant clam. The placard says that they are not dangerous. There are myths of divers going in for pearls and being consumed by clams like this, but that apparently does not happen. This clamshell caddy, custom made in a Vienna goldsmith shop around 1750, was a gift from Don Pedro de Alcantara, the crown prince of Brazil, to his father-in-law Kaiser Franz I. Here are some pickled squids. This is what a polluted lake bed looks like. It's built inside of an old museum display case. And here is a wall of dead crabs. Here is a giant common house fly. That's terrifying. I'm glad they're not really that big. So now we have moved into the insect exhibit with thousands upon thousands of preserved specimens. There's a happy baby crocodile hanging out with butterflies in the Amazon. There is a magnificent tableau of taxidermied sharks, including the great white shark. A great white took a chunk out of this surfboard. Here are some more giant shark jaws and some little sharks in jars. This is a Puriruku from the Amazon, one of the largest freshwater fish, which crushes its prey with its giant tongue. The museum has an important collection of fish skeletal mounts which are apparently quite complex to create. And here are the labeled insides of a fish. That's a taxidermied ocean sunfish, also known as Mola Mola. They are one of the largest bony fish in the world. Yeah, this has got to be one of the most comprehensive fish displays I've ever seen in a natural history museum. There's a puffer fish in a container. This is a frilled shark from Japan, which has unusual snake-like physical qualities. Speaking of snakes, here's the collection of pickled snakes, which have been fit into these much smaller tubes. And here are some lizards. Up there is a giant taxidermied python, along with snake skeletons. Here's a giant boa constrictor, in a display about how snake leather is harvested to create all sorts of designer products, often illegally. These are mighty crocodiles. Those are garions, crocodiles with extended snouts. These garions lived in the Ganges River in India, and you can tell this one is a male by its nasal bulge. And all these crocodiles are from Brazil. This is the Komodo dragon, the largest modern-day lizard species. Now we are in the turtle section, 
with samples of every turtle species imaginable, Now this is quite the display. There are several galleries full of endless big cabinets packed to the brim with taxidermy birds. These are great bustards. Those are hawks in their nest. This is a flightless Camorant. They are the only known bird species to have lost their ability to fly, and they are an endangered species. Ah yes, here are some ostriches, perhaps the closest living relative to the dinosaurs downstairs. Those are Indian condors and American vultures. That's a lot of ducks. And there is the great American bald eagle, representing here in Austria. This is a giant moa skeleton. They were ostrich-like creatures in New Zealand. However, the Polynesian colonists hunted them to extinction by the 15th century. In this gallery, there are more birds including some particularly beautiful avians such as the peacock. Those are hoatzings, the only recent birds with claws on their second and third fingers, although they lose them within 100 days of birth. And that is a great argus with its feathers flapped out. That's a pheasant from Southeast Asia. Here are wonderful colorful birds like peacocks and parakeets. There is a taxidermy Carolina parakeet. They went extinct in 1914. And here is the infamous dodo, which went extinct in the 17th century. Here's a box full of kakapo, the only flightless parrots in the world, which also happen to be the heaviest parrots. Here is a fancy display lined with tiny bird skulls. That's actually quite interesting. Holy, that's a lot of birds. These are tropical trogons from the forests of Africa, Asia, and the Americas, including the Quetzal so revered by the Aztecs. And here's a display on the birds of the Alps, like the Alpine Show. Alright, we have finally made it to the mammalians. There's a koala. This is a ring-tailed rock wallaby from Australia. They actually almost went extinct in the 19th century. That's a lanky sloth. A fascinating creature that moves incredibly slowly due to their low metabolism. Here are various types of rabbits, but no jackalopes. That's the American beaver. Okay, here we go. They have the big mammals in here. Many of the taxidermy mounts are paired with a skeletal reconstruction. That's a southern elephant seal. The males often weigh 4 tons. This one was shot in the Falkland Islands in 1901. Here are some manatees in a box. This is the skeleton of a stellar sea cow. They were discovered in 1741 and went extinct 25 years later as they were quickly hunted down. Only 30 skeletons exist in the world. That is the African savanna elephants, the largest and heaviest land mammal on the planet. 
You can see the big hole in their skull where the trunk goes. It looks like a cyclops skull. Here are some giraffes. The tallest animals in the world with their towering necks. And that is a hippopotamus. This is the skeleton of a giant fin whale. This is just a half-grown specimen. They can reach a length of 27 meters. In this next gallery, they have some llamas and camels. Here are some rhinoceroses. Along with some zebras. These are wild cattle species from around the world, such as the American bison, the African water buffalo, and the Southeast Asian gale. I love this ginormous box tableau of American bison in a woodland environment, surrounded by woodland species. They don't really live in these environments anymore. These are some wild mountain goats of the Alps. Some of them call Western Austria home. And here are some bighorn sheep. They also inhabit rugged country. Here are different varieties of gazelle, antelope, impala, wildebeest, and more. This is the cervid room, full of different members of the deer family, including the moose. That is an amazing historic taxidermy moose mount. And here are some late 19th century mounts from India. Here are different types of seals, and even a walrus. Much of the taxidermy in here is original to the museum and is over 100 years old. Here's a box showing the diversity of bear species from the grizzly to the polar bear. That is an imposing brown bear from Russia. And here are some big cats. That is the all-powerful lion, the top of the food chain. This is quite rare, a taxidermy panda bear. I actually saw my first living pandas here in Vienna at the Tiergarten Schönbrunn, the world's oldest zoo, which I have a separate video on. And the display ends off in the monkey room. Yes, it appears there are hundreds of taxidermy monkeys in here. That's a duke monkey with its colorful fur. These baboons are in eternal contemplation. Here's an orangutan. And here are the gorillas. The monkey chamber is really something else. They do also have a special exhibition called Brazil, 200 Years of Relations. It's about the fascinating ecological beauty of Brazil, as well as the history of Austria-Brazil relations. This book was collected by Maximilian I on his late 1850s visit to the Empire of Brazil. He later became the Emperor of Mexico and got brutally executed there. An Austrian expedition to Brazil in 1817 brought back over 150,000 items which were displayed at the Brazilianum, 
a museum about Brazil in Vienna's city center. However, many of those artifacts were destroyed in the 1848 revolution. And that is a taxidermy jaguar from Brazil. These are the only big cats in South America and are endangered. That's a model of the Admiral Tegethoff research ship, which went towards the North Pole in hopes of finding a shortcut to the Pacific. However, it had to be left behind after getting trapped for two polar winters during the Austro-Hungarian North Pole Expedition of 1872-74. At least they found Franz Josef Land, which was pretty much useless. Now we'll go up to the top floor. There is not much up here though, it's just the kids area. I had heard that there was a rooftop observatory here, which I bet would have great views over the Ringstrasse, however that does not appear to be open right now. So that was the Naturhistorisches Museum, which is definitely one of my favorite natural history museums now. It is a glorious old-fashioned natural history museum with some one-of-a-kind artifacts you won't find anywhere else. So this museum is definitely worth visiting while in Vienna. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll probably like my other video tours of natural history museums in Europe and the United States, as well as features on other types of museums and attractions. If you did not see part one, then make sure to check that out, as I do think the more important exhibits are featured in that, such as the Venus of Willendorf, Maria Teresa's taxidermy dog, and the dinosaurs. That video is linked in the description. Also, please like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching!